I would ask everyone to stand for the invocation and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Tonight's invocation is being offered by Brother Corey Crow, the family minister at Charlotte Heights Church of Christ, and he is the guest of Councilman Chris Harmon. Let us pray. Dear God, we are so thankful uh, for all of the many blessings that you provide us. We're thankful for this country uh, and the freedoms that it affords us. We're thankful for the dreams, ideas, and ideals that it was founded upon. We are thankful for the founders who turned those dreams into reality. Uh, we are thankful for, again, the freedoms that we uh, enjoy each and every day. We're thankful for those who protect those who have given their lives to provide those freedoms and who continue to serve on a daily basis. Uh, God, we know that you are a God of, of order and not of chaos. We thank you for the order and organization of this country, and we pray tonight uh, that you be with these men and women as they govern, as they work uh, to bring that order together. We pray that you would grant them wisdom and discernment, that you would soften their hearts with sympathy and empathy and guard them against apathy. Lord, we pray that uh, you would humble their hearts, that they may lead by serving, and we offer this humble prayer. Amen. Without objection, we'll suspend the calling of the roll and ask the clerk to record the names of the members present throughout the meeting. Is there a motion to adopt the minutes of our December 18th meeting? We have a motion and a second. Without objection, they will stand approved as written. Madam Clerk, are there any messages from the mayor? There are no messages from the mayor. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Davis. Yes. Uh, thank you, Vice Mayor. Um, <clears throat> for confirmations this evening, we had a few. Uh, first, for the Social Services Commission, uh, the Rules Committee voted to appoint Ms. Chrissy Kirkwood, uh, first time appointment to the Social Services Commission at a vote of 6 4 0 against, and I would like to move her approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Uh, next, the committee for the Solid Waste Region Board. Uh, we had three reappointments. Uh, Ms. Anna Alexander, Mr. Robert Deal, and Mr. Daniel Lane. Uh, the committee voted to defer uh, these three reappointments indefinitely at a vote of uh, four Four and one against. And your motion? And I move to defer indefinitely. We have a motion and a second to defer all three indefinitely. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Councilman Davis. Uh, and finally, for the uh, work release board, uh, nominees from the sheriff, we had a reappointment of Father Ed Steiner and uh, could not be here this evening, so we voted to defer for one meeting, 6-4-0 against, and I move his deferral. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Finally, the reappointment of Reverend Frank Gordon. Uh, the committee voted uh, for his reappointment, 6-4-0 against, to the work release board, and I'd like to move his approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Thank you. Uh, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Chrissy Kirkwood and Reverend Frank Jordan. Gordon. Uh, on behalf of the Metropolitan Council, thank you so much for your willingness to serve our city. Thank you very much. Okay, we are now at bills on public hearing. The first is BL 2012-264, amends the Metro Zoning Code pertaining to the legislative alteration 
when amending a plan unit development approved under the authority of a previous zoning code. Council Member Stites. Move we open the public hearing, please. Please raise your hand if you're in support. Please raise your hand if you're in opposition. <clears throat> Seeing none on either side, I declare the public hearing closed. Council Member Stites. I move for approval, please. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Next is BL 2012-302, amends 3.46 acres of the Nashboro Village Plan Unit Development Overlay District for property located at Nashboro Boulevard and numbered at the southwest corner of Nashboro Boulevard in Flint Court, zoned R10, to permit neighborhood retail uses not to exceed one story. Council Member Potts. Thank you, <coughs> Vice Mayor. At the request of the sponsor, I'd like to make a motion to, for indefinite deferral. Have a motion and a second. All in favor of de indefinite deferral, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Next is BL 2012-326, changes 0.46 acres from R6 to SP zoning for property located at 515 Southgate Avenue to permit up to six residential units. Council Member Moore. I move to open the public hearing, please. Please raise your hand if you're in support. Mm. Thank you. Please raise your hand if you're in opposition. Mm. Seeing no one in opposition, does anyone in support wish to speak? Seeing none, I declare the public hearing closed. Council Member Moore. I move for approval with a, just a very brief explanation. I have a motion and a second. Council Member Moore. I just want to say that we are ha have a meeting schedule about this development um, this month. Uh, hopefully that it will take place by January the 28th on a Monday. So thank you, Chair. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Next is BL 2012-327, makes provisions to 0.26 acres of a neighborhood landmark overlay district on 0.26 acres of property located at 608 Shelby Avenue, zoned R8. Council Member Westerholm. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Move to open public hearing. Please raise your hand if you're in support. Thank you. Please raise your hand if you're in opposition. <coughs> Seeing no one in opposition, does anyone in support wish to speak? Seeing none, I declare the public hearing closed. Council Member Westerholm. I move approval. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. <clears throat> Opposed, no. Motion passes. Next is BL 2012-328, changes 3.42 acres from RM20 to RM40A, zoning for properties located at 1808, 1809, 1810, Marino Street, and 925 and 929, Dr. D.B. Todd, Jr. Boulevard. Council Member Langster. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. Move to open the public <clears throat> hearing, please. Please raise your hand if you're in support. Thank you. Please raise your hand if you're in opposition. Seeing no one in opposition, does anyone in support wish to speak? Seeing none, I declare the public hearing closed. Council Member Langster. I move for approval with an explanation, please. We have a motion and a second, Council Member. Yes, this uh, piece of property that, that's being rezoned uh, is going to be a tremendous facelift to the Meharry Medical Campus and Nashville General <coughs> Hospital and to the community around Marina Street. And I am so pleased that uh, Meharry had the foresight to do this. So with that explanation, I move for approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion passes. Next is BL 2012-329, changes 10.88 acres from RS10 to SP zoning for property located at 3778 Central Pike to permit an assisted care living facility and up to 21 single family lots. Council Member Stanley. Proceed with the public hearing. Please raise your hand if you're in support. Thank you. Please raise your hand if you're in opposition. Seeing no one in opposition, does anyone in support wish to speak? Seeing none, I declare the public... Oh, sorry, I didn't see your hand you, from the crowd. Sorry about that. 
Hi, my name is Susan Floyd. I live on Bonnebrook Drive in Hermitage, and I'm affiliated as a board member with the Donaldson Hermitage Neighborhood Association, which is a coalition of neighborhood groups and individual neighbors working to make our community better. First of all, I'd like to thank Councilman Stanley for allowing the citizens to be part of the planning process. This is always true with Councilman Stanley, and we couldn't ask for a better councilman. We'd like to thank um, Hal Clark and his associates for being, to, being willing to um, work with a steering committee headed by Tim Weeks and neighbors from Fleetwood and Lakeside Woods. And we thank you for making some accommodations. And finally, we'd like to thank the Mead family for <coughs> their patience as we work together to plan where they grew up as a family, a place where families can grow old together and not have to leave Hermitage. So we thank you for all that, and our steering committee has continued to work in with Mr. Uh, Mr. Hyle Clark, and thank also Councilman Stanley for approval. <clears throat> Seeing no one else wishing to speak, I declare the public hearing closed. Council Member Stanley. Move for approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Next is BL 2012-330, changes 0.24 acres from OR 20 to OR 40, zoning for property located at 1624, 16th Avenue South. Council mm. Member Moore. I move to open the public hearing, please. Please raise your hand if you're in support. Mm. Thank you. Please raise your hand if you're in opposition. Seeing no one in opposition, does anyone in support wish to speak? Seeing none, I declare the public hearing closed. Council Member Moore. I move for approval, please. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2012-331 amends 0.82 acres of the Nolansville Road Auto Mart Specific Plan District for properties located at 2721 and 2725 Nolansville Pike and at 2722 Grandview Avenue to allow one 20-foot tall pole mounted on-premises sign and to allow the existing monument sign and building sign to remain. Council Member Tenpenny. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I'd like to open public hearing. Please raise your hand if you're in support. Thank you. Please raise your hand if you're in opposition. Seeing no one in opposition, does anyone in support wish to speak? Seeing none, I declare the public hearing closed. Council Member Tenpenny. I move for approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. We are now at resolutions. We have one that is not on the consent agenda, and that is RS 2013-546. But RS 2013-536 through 545, 547 through 557 are on the consent agenda. I will read through them, and if there are others that need to be pulled, uh, you can let me know after they've all been read. RS 2013-536 approves a memorandum of understanding between Fund for Cities of Service, Inc. and the Mayor's Office to implement the change for Chestnut Energy Retrofit. 537 approves a third amendment to a grant from the State Energy Management Agency to Metro, Emergency Management Agency to Metro Government for reimbursement of flood-related expenses. 538 approves an annual grant from the State Department of Health to the Metro Board of Health for tobacco use prevention services. 539 approves a grant from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services to the Metro Board of Health to create a comprehensive strategy to address issues and barriers, barriers to responsible fatherhood. 540 approves a contract between the Metro Board of Health and the Matthew Walker Comprehensive Health Center for a mobile clinic to provide early periodic screening diagnosis and treatment exams. 541 approves a clinical affiliation agreement between the Metro Board of Health and Meharry Medical College to provide clinical experience to students 542 approves an amendment to a contract between the Metro Board of Health and Vanderbilt University Medical Center 
to provide medical professionals to distribute antibiotics, vaccine, and antivirals in the event of a public health emergency. 543 approves a five individual grant applications from the Walmart Foundation to fund the Metro Homelessness Commission's fifth annual Project Homeless Connect event. 544 approves a grant application from the Cal Turner Family Foundation to fund the Metro Homelessness Commission fifth annual Project Homeless Connect event. 545 approves a grant application from the Jane Stephen Turner Family Foundation to fund the Metro Homelessness Commission's fifth annual Project Homeless Connect event. RS547 uh, approves the elect election of notaries public for Davidson County. 548 honors the life of H. Houston Hager. 549 recognizes Bryce Enoch for his participation in the 2012 Nashville Beautification Art Contest. 550 recognizes 2012 Nashville Beautification Art Contest co-grand prize winner Marvin Grando. Uh, 551 recognizes Mrs. Verlin C. Malone on her retirement from the Nashville Public Library. 552 rec recognizes Representative Mary Pruitt for her service to the fine people of Tennessee. 553 recognizes David M. Satterfield for his participation in the 2012 Ann Chapman Holiday Lights. 554 recognizes Dodson Chapel United Methodist Church on its 200th anniversary. 555 recognizes the 2012 Unibears BB football team. 556 opposes all state legislation that would create a school voucher program in Tennessee or a state charter school authorizer without adequate state funds being appropriated to local school districts to cover the additional cost. 557 expresses support for the incorporation of health impacts into the decision making of the metropolitan government. Are there any of these that need to be pulled? Seeing none, I will need uh, committee reports. Council Member Matthews. Budget and Finance approved 536 through 540, 840 against. We approved 541 through 545, 940 against. And what about 556? And 556, we did not take up in budget. Is it? Uh, memorializing resolution. Here. 556, we approved 10 4 0 against. Thank you. Sorry about that. Council Member Bedney, Education. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, the committee um, voted for it, 8 4 0 against. Thank you. Health Hospitals and Social Services, Council Member Weiner. Thank you, Vice Mayor. The Health Hospitals voted for all, 6-4-0 against. Thank you. Uh, and the Council Member Anthony Davis, Rules and Confirmations. Thank you. Uh, Rules Committee voted for all consent agenda resolutions, 6-4-0 against. And I'd like to move approval of the consent agenda. We have a motion and a second. All in favor of the consent agenda, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. We'll go back to RS 2013-546, approves a grant from the State Department of Labor and Workforce Development to the Nashville Career Advancement Center to provide resources for dislocated workers. Council Member Matthews. Uh, am I the only committee report? Uh, uh, Council Member Weiner. For the one that was not on the consent agenda. Sorry, um, 640 against. Thank you. Council Member Banks. Uh, personnel committee voted 6 0 to defer one week. Thank you. Council Member Matthews. Right. Uh, budget and Finance voted 9 4 0 against to approve, and I will have to defer it for one week. Uh, I would like to move for a one week deferral. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. The one-week deferral passes. We're now at bills on introduction and first reading. Uh, Council Member Purdue, did you need to be recognized? Uh, yes, did you have a late bill? I do. 
Yes, ma'am, I do, and uh, I'll have to ask for a suspension of the rules. Is there any objection? Seeing none, this one would change 3.0 acres from CS to SP zoning for property located at 1535 Gallatin Pike to permit automobile repair, automobile sales used, automobile service, vehicular rental leasing, and all uses permitted within the MUL zoning district, council member. Thank you, ma'am. And the reason for this is just it's the same situation I had with the car lot further north on Gallatin Road. This is just to get them up and running about three months earlier than it would had I not got the suspension tonight. So, and with that, I'll move for approval. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Council Member Gilmore, did you need to pull one from the consent agenda? Uh, yes, Vice Mayor, I did. Uh, Bill 341. Uh, BL 2012-341 approves Amendment 9 to the Capital Mall Redevelopment Project Plan, Amendment Number 6 to the Rutledge Hill Redevelopment Plan, Amendment Number 4 to the Phillips Jackson Street Redevelopment Plan, and Amendment Number 4 to the Arts Center Redevelopment Plan. Councilmember Gilmore. Yes, I want to move uh, to defer indefinitely. Uh, we have, a, is there a motion and a second to defer indefinitely? Yes. Um, all in favor, please say aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. And you had one other council member, Gilmore, you needed to pull 346. I do, Bill 346. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I wanted to move the substituted bill. Um, this would amend the official street and alley acceptance and maintenance map by abandoning a portion of alley number 207 and alley number 209 right away. We have a motion on the substitute. Is there a second? We have a motion and a second. All in favor of the substitute, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Substitute passes. Council member. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Now I would like to move the bill. We have a motion and a second to approve the bill as substituted. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Are there any others on first reading that need to be pulled? Is there a motion for their approval? We have a motion and a second for all other bills on first reading. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. We're now at bills on second reading. The first one is BL 2012-293, amends the Metro Code pertaining to the future operation of the Tennessee State Fairgrounds property. Council Member Dominey. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports. Council Member Weiner. Health hospitals voted 640 against. Council Member Matthews. Budget and Finance voted to defer indefinitely 940 against. Thank you. Council Member Pridemore. Codes Fair and Farmers Market voted uh, for indefinite deferral by request of the sponsor 44. Zero against. Thank you. Council Member Dominic. I move for an indefinite deferral with a brief explanation. We have a motion and a second. Councilman Dominic. The uh, Based on the action of the Fair Board at the last meeting and this meeting this morning, they are working on language to issue an RFI without this legislation, and therefore I move to defer it indefinitely. Appreciate your support. We have a motion and a second. All in favor of indefinite deferral, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2012-332 amends the Metro Codes to reflect changes in emergency towing costs. Councilmember Matthews. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. Committee reports. Councilmember Harrison. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Traffic and parking uh, move to approve this 4-4 and zero against. Councilmember Bennett. Uh, thank you, Vice Mayor. Happy New Year. Uh, public safety approved 6-4, zero against. Thank you, Councilmember Matthews. Budget and finance approved 940 against, and I'd like to move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2012-333 amends the Metro Code relative to work performed in the public right-of-way, private service line insurance charges for disconnection of services, reconnection of service, return checks, net and gross billing procedures, and charitable discounts. Councilmember Matthews. 
Committee reports. Councilmember Potts. Public Works voted to approve 640 against. Councilmember Matthews. Budget and Finance voted to approve 1040 against, and I'd like to move approval. It's listed. It's for, he's listed it's first. Would you like to move it, Councilman? Actually, I uh, would like to request a one meeting deferral. We've had some issues arise today, and I'd like to defer at one meeting to resolve those issues. Okay, we have a motion for a one meeting deferral and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Next is BL 2012-334, amends the Metro Code to restrict vendors from vending on public rights of way during special events unless they have permission of the special event permit holder. Council Member Potts. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Uh, we do have an amendment. Uh, public Works voted to approve the amendment 640 against, and Public Works voted to approve uh, the bill as amended 640 against. We have a motion on the amendment. Is there a second? All in favor of the amendment, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Uh, the amendment passes. Councilman Potts. I'd like to move the bill as amended, please. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. The L2012-335 approves an agreement between Metro Government, Nashville Electric Service, and Vanderbilt University for access to the 800 MHC emergency radio dispatch and response system. Councilmember Matthews. Thank you. Committee reports. Councilmember Bennett. Public safety approved 640 against. Councilmember Matthews. Budget and finance approved 1040 against, and I'd like to move approval. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Next is BL 2012-336, designates Riverside Drive in East Nashville as Riverside Memorial Boulevard. Council Member Anthony Davis. Committee reports, please. Council Member Matthews. Budget and Finance approved 10-4-0 against. Council Member Potts. Three three six. Sorry about that. Public Works voted to approve 640 against. Thank you. Council Member Anthony Davis. Uh, move approval. A brief comment, please. Have a motion and a second. Councilman. Uh, thanks, everyone, for your support on this. Uh, just for East Nashvilleans, this is uh, this will be the third installment of our street sign uh, bills, and uh, we're uh, honorarily naming Riverside, Riverside Memorial to honor our veterans and our soldiers of foreign wars. Uh, it's a very important historic designation for East Nashville and we appreciate your support and move approval. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Now we're on bills on third reading. The first one is BL 2012-283, amends the Metro Code pertaining to the permitting of commercial solicitors and the establishment of a no solicitation list. Council Member Claiborne. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Um, because of uh, the uh, an issue that came up late last week that it has possible constitutional uh, uh, ramifications on the uh, advice of Metro Legal and Mr. Cooper, I'd like to suspend the rules to offer an amendment to this to, uh, to get it in the best condition that we can to, uh, to move forward. Is there any objection to a suspension of the rules? Seeing none, Councilman Claiborne. Uh, Mr. Cooper, would you ex explain the... Uh, I need more than one. I have... Please raise your hand if you're objecting. I need two or three. Okay, so that there are more than two objections which would prevent a suspension of the rules. So my suggestion would be to uh, move to rescind action on second reading so that it can be amended on second reading um, at the, the next meeting. Okay. So I so move. It's on third reading, but you're rescinding mm -hmm. action that was taken on second reading. So just for clarification, when we come back next week, it's on second reading. Right. Uh, with the, uh, the recommended amendment from the legal department. 
It can I be amended move. on sec. You're rescinding yep. your action, right. so it can go back to second reading, and then you can offer your amendment. Right. I so move. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2012-308 changes 0.25 acres from R8 to RS5 zoning for property located at 906 Ackland Avenue. Council Member Moore. I move for approval, please. I need a committee report from I'm Council sorry, Member committee Claiborne. Report. <laughs> Councilman Claiborne. Planning and zoning voted uh, eight zero to approve. Thank you, Council Member Moore. Now I move for approval. <laughs> we have a motion and a hearty second. All in favor, please say aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2012-309 <clears throat> changes 0.24 acres from MUL to SP zoning for property located at 100 Iris Avenue to permit all uses of the MUL zoning district and new and used tire sales. Councilmember Jernigan. Committee report, please. Councilman Claiborne. Planning and zoning uh, voted to defer one meeting due to a couple of questions that were asked yesterday that no one was able to answer. So we were, wanted to defer one meeting to get answers to those questions. Councilmember Jernigan. Uh, I move to defer one meeting with a brief uh, comment. We have a motion and a second, Councilman. Yeah, I, I, obviously I wrote a letter for this. I recently got a second job and I, uh, I <laughs> third job, but uh, thank you. But I, I would like to contact each of the members on the planning commission and individually get your, get your questions and have them answered before the next meeting next Tuesday. Thank okay. you. We have a motion and a second for a one meeting deferral. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. <clears throat> motion passes. <clears throat> BL 2012-310 changes 4.31 acres from R10 to RS10 to SB zoning for properties located at 1719 and 1725 Glen Echo Road and at Glen Echo Road unnumbered east of Hillmont Drive to permit up to 15 single family lots. Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Committee reports, please. Council Member Claiborne. Planning and zoning voted 8-0 to approve. Thank you, Council Member McGuire. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I move approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. <clears throat> BL 2012-315 amends the Metro Code pertaining to the procurement non-discrimination program to change the frequency of benchmarking. Council Member Matthews. Thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. I'd like to move approval. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2012-320 amends the Metro Code <clears throat> pertaining to health insurance benefits for members of council after they leave office. Council Member Claiborne. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I would uh, move approval with a brief comment. Uh, we have a motion and a second. Okay. Um, did you wish to say anything? I'm sorry, I, I got a little dis distracted. I, I move approval with a brief comment. Okay, we have a motion and a second, Councilman. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I just wanted to uh, to reiterate some information that I provided to each of you uh, within the past few days that I requested from Ms. Turner in the HR for clarification on some previously re uh, referenced information from our insurance actuary. Uh, their findings uh, are based on the eligible members' likely length of time to receive the health care benefit, and uh, the resulting calculation is what they call their uh, present value. The present value of these calculations is based on the number of people eligible, the length of time that they're eligible, as well as the interest rate of the term for the pool of money that uh, funds the benefit. So as the number eligible and the length of time increases, or the interest rate for the fund goes down, the present value goes up. So the present value of the current program is between nine and $10 million. This represents the total price in today's dollars 
for today's cost of the accrued and projected health insurance benefits and liability for current and former council members. The reality is that these costs are only going to increase over time. In 2015 and in 2019, as new council members are elected and others are term limited out, a new set of eligible members are, is going to create a need to reset the present value. That's going to result in a second group of individuals who will add somewhere between seven to ten million dollars depending on the number of people that take advantage of the benefit. The impact of this cycle over a period of the next two, three, four decades is going to result in literally millions and millions and millions of dollars from the taxpayer going to fund a benefit for a relatively small number of people. So just in closing, I'd like to renew the challenge that I made to you last council meeting. I ask any of you in here <coughs> to find a business or an organization where you can work part time for eight years and walk away and expect that organization to pay 75% of you and your family's insurance premiums for the rest of their lives. I said at that time that was an absurd and ridiculous expectation. I still contend that it is ridiculous and cons uh, absurd today. And I'm asking you to join with me tonight in voting for this bill as we as a body demonstrate to the voters of this community that we're serious about doing what we can do as an elected body to make the costs of local government more affordable. Thank you. Council Member Badney. Uh, thank you, Vice Mayor. And thank you, Council Member Claiborne, for uh, your comments. I too uh, agree that uh, we need to be responsible and look at uh, this problem in a com comprehensive way. I had an amendment uh, that I was going to submit, but what I would like to do today instead is ask that uh, we defer this indefinitely to have time to look for a more comprehensive solution to this problem. And a second. We have a motion to table. Is there a second? Motion fails for lack of a second. Uh, we're back on Council Member Bedney's motion. Any other discussion? Council Member Evans. Um, on the deferral, uh, Madam Chair, may and I'm sorry, um, I know we've talked about this in committee, but if I could just direct a question to the Budget and Finance Chair. Um, Councilman, could we in the next budget cycle um, look at um, a compensation study potentially? This is compensation and generally and historically um, when we change compensation for elected officials, we have an objective study done. You know, we don't generally rely on our own research. Would it be possible in the next budget cycle to maybe consider funding a, a professional compensation study to see how we benchmark against other cities? Council Lady, I would be willing to give that strong consideration in the next budget cycle. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Council Member Weiner. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I have supported this from the beginning, and I do see the value in a deferral, and the reason that I see the value in the deferral is that this will give us an opportunity to potentially look at other areas where in the whole compensation package, we might even be more fiscally responsible. And so I rise to support the deferral. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all in favor of the deferral motion, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Next is BL 2012-321, approves an agreement between Metro Government and the CSX Transportation, Inc. for the engineering, installation, and maintenance of an interconnection device at the intersection of Vaughn's Gap Road and Highway 100. Council Member Evans. Uh, move approval with a brief explanation. We have a motion and a second, Council Member. Um, I'm sorry, I don't need to do a brief explanation. Just move approval. <laughs> uh, all in favor, please say aye. Thank Opposed, you. no. <laughs> Motion passes. Next is 2012-322, grants a permanent easement to Piedmont Natural Gas Company for the purpose of maintaining a gas line on the Heartland Park property. Councilmember Claiborne. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Move approval. 
have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2012-323 adopts the official street and alley acceptance and maintenance map for Metropolitan Government. Councilmember Claiborne. Thank you. Uh, move approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2012-324 provides an honorary designation for Gay Street between James Robert Robertson Parkway and Fifth Avenue North as Musician's Way. Council Member Gilmore. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Move for approval. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. BL 2012-325 grants the telecommunications franchise to Nashville Data Link, Inc. Council Member Claiborne. Thank you. I would move approval. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Motion passes. Is there a motion to adjourn? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Please come and get your Bible.